Thank you so much, and we thank each and every one of you for being here at this pivotal moment in America's educational history. I see Senator Ron Wyden, who is here. I know that, uh, I know that other members of the Senate are going to be arriving very soon, uh, but this is an historic fight that we are waging for the children of our country. And I'm here to say to you that of all of the nominees that Donald Trump has made in his cabinet of big oil and big banks and billionaires, that the Secretary of Education is in the position to shape the policies and programs that affect more than 50 million students across the United States. Young people may be 20% of our population, but they are 100% of our future, and we have to make sure that we make the investment in them that maximizes their God-given abilities. We need a secretary of education that believes that all children deserve access to a quality public education regardless of income, of race, of ethnicity, of neighborhood, of disability status, and Betsy DeVos does not share that commitment to equal opportunity. And she is unqualified to be the Secretary of Education for the United States of America. She has a long and well-documented record of opposing public school systems. She has implemented school choice voucher programs. She has simultaneously expanded and deregulated charter schools. But Betsy DeVos's school, <coughs> Betsy DeVos's school choice priorities go beyond charter schools. <coughs> she has pushed for voucher programs that would use taxpayer money, your money, to pay for a child's private school tuition. Under a, na under a national voucher system, the funding that would normally go to local school districts would instead be diverted away from the public schools towards the for-profit private educational institutions of the United States. So, so the Secretary of Education must fight for all of the children all of the families across America, not promote companies seeking to profit off of the backs of the students in our country. And I know that I am not alone in the conclusion that Betsy DeVos is unfit to be Secretary of Education. I have received tens of thousands of letters and phone calls from my constituents. all across Massachusetts, all across our country, urging me to reject her nomination. And I thank them for reaching out to me, and I thank all of you for being here today because your voices are being heard. This is an historic fight that we are having. A quality education for all young people is the bedrock of our democracy. But yes. Betsy DeVos wants to put a for sale sign outside of every public school in America. We will not let her do that. She does not sh share our commitment to equal opportunity through education. And I do not believe that she is qualified to be the Secretary of Education. I do not believe that she understands the fundamental nature of who it is that we're educating in our country in the 21st century. The workers in our country are going to be increasingly coming from families who are immigrants, who are poor, who have language issues, who have, who have a desire to work just as hard as every other preceding generation, but they're going to need the same access to a high quality public education system that every preceding generation of Americans has had since Horace Mann invented the public school system in Massachusetts. We must ensure that we continue this tradition. Thank you all so much for being here.